Hi guys, it's JJ here. Do you get nervous when you think about public speaking? Well, most people do, and that is totally understandable. But we often think that nerves aren't a great thing. Well, I'm here to tell you that they can be. When you have nerves, if you think about nerves and you think about excitement, the feeling that you get is very similar. So it's not about the nerves themselves. It's about how you channel those nerves. You can either channel those nerves that disempower you, or you can channel them into energy and excitement so that they empower you and that you can have an even better speech because of them. Now, to be able to do that, you need to have a strategy on empowering your state. What does that mean? Empowering your state is how you communicate to yourself, your mind, your body, so that you have a positive empowerment about you before you present. Now you can do that lots of ways. If you think about how you communicate to yourself, it's about what you say to yourself, it's how you say it, and it's also about the physiology or the body language that you have at that moment. Now I work with a lot of speakers and all of them do have strategies in regards to empowering their state prior to speaking. So I want you to think about this. How are you communicating to yourself prior to public speaking? What are you saying to yourself in your head or out loud? How are you saying it? And what is your body language doing at that moment? Put those three things together in an empowering way and it will create an empowering state for you. Now we all have different rituals as speakers that we do to be able to get on the stage and deliver an effective public speech. So I want you to think about some different ways that you can do that. For me, what I do before any speech is I practice my speech out loud, I language it, I often pace while I'm doing it. And the other thing that I do is that I visualize the end in mind. I visualize what is it going to look like when I'm up there presenting? What are the faces of the audience doing? What are people saying? Put all your senses into that. So picture, visualize the end in mind. Think about what you're seeing, then put down what you're hearing. What is it that you're hearing in your audience after your speech and during your speech? What are you feeling inside? What's the feeling in the room that you've created? And visualize and bring that all together so that you can have this picture in your mind prior to you going on that's a positive outcome for you. So going back, nerves are great when you channel them in the direction that's going to serve you. When you create a state, think about the holistic way that you're going to do that. Think about what you're saying, how you're saying it, and what your body language is like. The other thing I want to, you to discard and get rid of is terminal seriousness. We often take ourselves so serious. We often say we can't make any mistakes, it's all about perfection. Well, what I want to say to you is I want you to put perfection aside. To me, perfection is in the imperfections. What is perfection? What is perfect? When we let go of perfection and we, we look at progression, then we see things so differently. It's about your authenticity. Every one of us has a story. Every one of us has something to offer an audience. So I want you to get out there, get rid of, discard terminal seriousness, have fun, allow yourself to have mistakes. And if you're not having mistakes, that means that you're playing safe. If you're not having mistakes, that means you're playing small. You have to make mistakes to learn and to grow and to stretch your comfort zone. So my challenge to you is that if you're playing small, you're not making mistakes and you're not living to your potential because you're staying in the world of safety and certainty. When you stretch your comfort zone, when you allow yourself to have mistakes, that's when you grow. 
I've got a beautiful client that I work with and she's an artist and she said to me when she's doing art and the kids might, she works with kids and adults and they might make a mistake and she'll say there's no mistake because if you think of this, this mistake that you're, you're looking at right now, that can turn into a work of art. So think about that as you're making mistakes, what are you getting from that? You're growing as a person and so let's put terminal seriousness aside and have fun and allow yourself to have that childlike curiosity. And the fourth thing that I want to say to you is that when you're doing a speech, when you're talking to people in a room, when you're doing a workshop, it's not about you. When you come from a space of serving others, when you come from a space of I'm here to deliver as many gold nuggets of information to my audience, your nerves will dissipate. They have to. Because if you think about it, when you're nervous, what are you thinking of? You're thinking about you. How do I look? I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope people like me. I, you're thinking all, it's all about you. When you shift the focus onto your audience and focus on serving them, then your nerves will dissipate. And that's what I want for you. I want you to get your message out there. I want you to do more speaking events. I want you to get your story out there, whether you're in business, whether you're a leader in business. I want you to be able to deliver an effective message from the heart authentically and to be able to help empower others. That's what I want from you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.